everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome to a very special video that you guys requested. So, on the Monster Hunter World live streams, I've had so many people come to the streams and say, Kylie, where did you get that cool cap from? Where did you get the cool shirts from? And all those questions. So, I've decided to do a Monster Hunter fashion show collection video. I have no idea what I'm gonna call this, but anyways, I've separated all of these shirts out and I'm going to go through where I got these shirts from and also put links in the video description, guys, so you guys can go ahead and buy your own awesome Monster Hunter merch. So, we have Numskull, we have Space Blah, and we have the Hunting Club Collection. So I'm gonna talk about all of those and show you guys all the shirts that I own at the moment, I'm sure I'm probably gonna get more. I have a little bit of an issue buying these Monster Hunter shirts, basically. But anyways, just for reference, what I'm wearing right now is the Numskull cap Monster Hunter World, which is awesome. I actually normally do not suit caps, but this one fits my very large head, which is great because I have a very, very big head. <laughs> I'm only joking. Anyway, the shirt that I'm wearing as well is a Hunting Club Gormagala shirt, which is awesome. It just arrived like last week. It's super, super soft and the print is really nice quality. I love it so much. Anyway, this is separate obviously, but I have to be matching because I'm a bit OCD when it comes to matching colors. Right, so we're gonna go to Numskull first of all. So again, Numskull is the cap guys, remember that. And there is links in the video description to all of these places where you can buy this awesome Monster Hunter merch. So don't forget about that as well. So we have the Research Commission shirt here. Hopefully the lighting isn't too bad. It's kind of early morning and it's pretty cloudy. So the sensor on the iPad keeps changing the lighting. So I'm going to try and describe the true colours to you as well. So you know what they are. So the print itself is like a mustard colour. And the shirt is kind of like a burgundy colour, guys, just for reference there. So it says, Research Commission, The New World, and it's awesome! <laughs> so uh, Numskull actually sent this to me for free. I purchased some pins, I purchased a mug, and I was showing those off on streams, and they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted more merch. So they sent me this cap for free, and also uh, this shirt for free, which I love, love, love. Please make more Monster Hunter merch, please, Numskull, if you're watching this. <laughs> anyway, next we have Space Blah from Etsy. So Space Blah, they do pretty cheap shirts. They're not as detailed as the Hunting Club shirts, but they are really nice print quality. I've had no issues with the print. You can wash them on like a low warm temperature, despite it saying you need to wash it on cold. I think I've been washing it on like um, 20 degrees or 30 degrees, something like that. But uh, yeah, I've not had any issues with the print peeling off after washes. The shirts fit great. The shipping is roughly around two weeks or more. And they will also mark it as gift so that you can avoid any nasty import duty or extra charges, guys. So, this is Space Blah from Etsy, again, links in the video description. First of all, this is Monster Hunter Stories. I thought I'd get this out of the way first, because it is the only Monster Hunter Stories shirt they actually sell. I'll just hold it up close to the camera, hopefully uh, you guys can really see the quality there. So, yeah, it says, teamwork makes the dream work, and it's a really nice quality. So, just for reference, the print colour over here is like a mustardy yellow, then we've got a sky blue, and then here is like a really light creamy yellow. I'm just describing the colours because I can already see that the lighting of the camera is shit today. So I'm trying to describe it to you as well. Um, then we've got this one, again, Space Blah, which is Tigrex. I'll just hold it up so you guys can really see the detail there. And it just says, Monster Hunter... Tigrex on it and Hunt as well. So the text on these Space Blah shirts are always similar to each other. It pretty much just says like Monster Hunter and then the name of the monster and then it just has like a flat colour print that is one colour and also uh, obviously the colour of the shirt as well behind. So that's that. 
I mean, the Space Floor shirts are nowhere near as detailed as the Hunting Club shirts, but they are cheaper and I still really like the designs as well, guys. So again, Space Floor, this is Monster Hunter World. Really nice there, it's got the Monster Hunter World logo and I really like the text going down both sides and uh, obviously underneath as well. Now just for reference, all of these shirts that I've purchased are medium and they are quite loose around the arms here. It's actually the same with the Hunting Club shirts as well guys if you're wondering about fit. So I just wanted to point that out. Next is a fairly new one that I purchased recently. This is Odegaron which is absolutely gorgeous guys hopefully you can see the detail there i really like this one because you can see the really ferocious claws of odegaron which i absolutely love so again it just says monster hunter odegaron and for reference the color is kind of like a i guess like a burnt red like a brownie red i think i wouldn't quite say it's red it's like a hard color to describe but it's like a a burnt ready brownie colour anyway but it's really really nice next we have Kidin Kidin there and this is a really vibrant blue guys I mean the camera doesn't do it justice it's making it look like a um like those luminous pens colour blue but it's like it's more vibrant than that and quite a little bit darker as well but that's Kidin there then we have Mitsutsune. I love this monster so much. I mean, the thing is, the Space Blast shirts are still detailed. They're just detailed in a different way. I mean, they have a lot of line work on them. As you can see, the print is really nice quality. There is detail with the lines there as well. So this is like a proper luminous pen pink colour, guys. Next, we are moving on to Hunting Club. So I got all of these Hunting Club shirts from a website called Red Bubble. And you want to type in Hunting Club and it'll bring up all of the Hunting Club designs. I'll put more information about that down below in the video description. Uh, Red Bubble have like coupons for money off on occasion. Just type in Google red bubble money off coupon you can probably find loads of places that do coupons you can get like 10 percent off 20 percent off and stuff like that the shipping is quite expensive so i do recommend using coupons and i also recommend bulk buying so that you can reduce that shipping cost down as well and shipping usually takes like about two weeks the same amount of time um because they try and get you to pay for the faster shipping so just bear that in mind so this is Haunting Club and we have Bracky Dios here. This is the only Monster Hunter hoodie that I actually own. It's far too warm for me to wear these hoodies when I'm streaming. It just gets so hot with the face cam light and stuff like that. Um, so this is like my lounge around hoodie that I wear when I'm cold, I'm in bed, I'm watching anime, stuff like that. So it is a luminous kind of like darkish green and also a bluey purple for the Bracky Dios. Really, really cool. Very, very comfy hoodie. Next is a new one that just arrived like last week. This is Duck Duck Goose B45 Bomber. Bezel Goose is invading. <laughs> Hunting Club. Look at the detail though. I'll just hold it up to the camera so you guys can see how gorgeous is that. Really, really nice. So this is kind of like, oh god, I can't even describe the colours of this, like dark greys and kind of like, I don't know, a, a burnt red again, but more like a, a brown, brownie red. Really, really nice colour though, really, really cool. Next one, again, arrived with Goose. This is a Legiana shirt. Hunting Club shirt there. Really, really nice. So this is greys and obviously a really like uh, darkish type blue with yellows and stuff like that. It actually looks more genuine to the colours if I hold it on an angle. I've just realised. But really, really nice there. And we also have 
Azure Ravelous! <laughs> Again, this is a fairly new one that I've been wearing in the streams. I got this on a navy shirt because I felt like the blueprint would pop a lot more on this shirt, and I really do think that is the case. Really, really nice there. And I don't know if you can notice, guys, but if I hold it up to the camera, you can see the little uh, cats <laughs> on some of these. They're, they're actually hidden on most of these shirts. Like, there's at least, like, one or two cats behind the actual monster on these shirts. Please excuse how creased this one is because I actually had to go looking for it all around the house. It was inside the tumble dryer so it's not been ironed or anything. It is quite badly creased. But last but not least is the Nergagante Hunting Club shirt guys. Really really nice. I think this is probably my favourite haunting club shirt along with the Gormagala one that I have on now because I love purple. Purple, red and black are like my favourite colours. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really out of breath now. Honestly, I went looking in the washing machine, I went looking on all the radiators, looking in the wash basket and last but not least I checked the trumble dryer. So I'm out of breath now because I was going up and down stairs quite a lot. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Nergagansi guys, absolutely amazing shirt. Again, haunting club design. So I'll just hold it back here. So this is kind of like greys, uh, yellows, and also like greeny colours as well. And kind of like a um, burgundy colour across behind the haunting club print. And that's it for that collection. But I do have a bonus item to show you guys which was actually sent to me by Capcom themselves. Um, again, I've never worn this on the streams because it is a hoodie. Um, I totally forgot about it, which is why I said that the Bracky hoodie is the only one I own. But no, I've got this one as well. So this is Monster Hunter. It says on the back, has the nice big print there and it is red. There we go. You can see it a bit better now if I hold it back a little bit. That's the true colour of it there, right there. I look really white now. <laughs> but yeah, uh, a nice hoodie there. This one is um, way too big for me, so I never wear it in public. It says medium, but it's massive. It like drowns me. So yeah, this is again, just the slob around the house hoodie that I wear. So all of the Haunting Club shirts, guys, again, similar to Space Blur, can be washed on like a low, warm temperature. But if you want to be safe, I recommend just washing on a cold temperature, guys, just to maintain that print. But again, I've had no issues with the print coming off, peeling off in the wash or anything like that. So that's it, guys. So we had Numskull, we had Space Blur from Etsy, and we had the Hunting Club collection, which I personally buy from Redbubble. But I do believe you can get the Hunting Club stuff from other websites so feel free to share in the comments where else you can get the hunting club collection but I mainly shop at Redbubble because it's within the UK and obviously that means I don't get extra charges and stuff like that so let me know if you're going to pick up any of these shirts guys which ones did you like and which ones are you now interested in I hope you enjoyed this video again all the links are in the video description guys Thank you so much for watching, take it easy, and I shall see you next time. Bye-bye!